Hey guys, how are you doing today? It's a beautiful day in Yokohama. Today I'll tell you everything you need to know about Purikura, the amazing Japanese photo booth that makes you look more beautiful. Taking pictures with these machines is an activity enjoyed by many Japanese schoolgirls. That is exactly why you should try it out if you have a chance to go to Japan. Stay with me until the end of this video and I promise you'll become a Purikura expert. Let's start! Purikura is the shortened form of Purinto Kurabu, which means Spring Club. This is the name of the photo machine that was first released in 1995 by a Japanese video game company called Atlas. Now we are going to look for this machine in World Porters, a well-known shopping mall in Minato Mirai, Yokohama. As soon as I get to the fifth floor of the shopping mall, I can see a huge amusement arcade. There's a wide variety of game machines inside, and the highlight is the UFO catchers, as known as Grain Game. I believe Japan has the best green games in the world. Look at how cute the prizes are. They also have a special VR zone where you can play sport game or horror game. Anyway, that's not why we are here today, so let's move on. Right next to the arcade is an area dedicated to Purikura machines. As you can see, there are a lot of machines here and each of them has a different theme or concept. If you take a look at the information outside of each booth, you will know what kind of pictures you can get there. You will know if the machine is better to use when you're hanging out with friends or when you're on a date or whether it takes portrait only or also takes full body shot some machines allow you to make a short video and download it for free later as well Many Purikura shops offer costume rental service for free or for a cheap price. This is known as Kosubiri and is the abbreviation for Cosplay Purikura. You can become a Japanese student, a princess, character in Harry Potter or Alice in the Wonderland. There are changing rooms inside the shop and an area for you to touch up your makeup before taking photos. If you take photos with many people and want to share the photos, you can find scissors in front of the mirror to divide them. Now let me show you how to take Purikura. First, if you don't have 100 yen coin, you have to exchange your money. Just insert 500 yen coin or 1000 yen into the machine and you will get your change. Step 2 is renting a costume. After choosing the costume you like, use this machine to buy a cosplay ticket. Once you give the staff the costume and the ticket, they will put the costume into a basket and give it back to you. My costume comes with a white shirt and some accessories. There is one red ribbon, one pink ribbon, and one necktie. I decided to use the red ribbon to match with the color of this skirt. The last item of this set is a dark blue blazer. It's finally time to take photos. The name of the machine I'm going to try is Chick. It costs 400 yen to take Purikura in general. It may be confusing at the beginning, but you have to start from the screen outside of the booth first. Next, you have to choose between normal Purikura or ID photo mode. Then, you choose the number of people you're taking photo with. After that, the machine shows you several different set of sample poses. You can pick the one that you like and you just have to follow those later. Thanks to this, you don't have to worry about what pose to make when you take photos. However, there are too many options and the time is limited so I just pick randomly. I know this is taking forever but it's not done yet. You have to pick the background for your photos. You can choose each of them separately or you can choose a whole set of background. And last, you have to choose one special shot that cannot be found in any other machine. Before starting, you will see some instructions like do not block the lighting with your bag and put your bag on the side. Now it's time to go inside the booth. When you have already put all of your stuff down and ready for shooting, you can start by touching the screen. There will be pictures of models making posts on the screen and you can copy what they are doing or you can just make your own posts. The poses are normally girly and I'm not that girly so when I'm with my friends, we try to copy the pose because it's kind of funny. When you see this screen, you should move backward for the full body shot. The last photo is the special shot of this machine. I was supposed to turn into a devil. The last step is to edit the photo you took. There will be a message telling you to move to the decoration booth, which is on the opposite side of the shooting booth. Here, there are two touch screen pens. First, you have to choose how big you want your eyes to be and how much you want to brighten your skin. Then, you can type your name in here or you can skip it if you want. Now you can start decorating your pictures. 
The screen is divided into two parts so two people can edit at the same time. There are a lot of things that you can add to your pictures like message, stickers, stamps of various shapes, and so on. It is possible to adjust the size of each sticker before and after you add them to the photo, and of course you can undo it as well. There are so many things on the screen so it may be complicated but the best way to do it is just to click on all of the different tabs and add anything that attracts your attention. If you click on the pen option, you can write or draw on your photo and you can also adjust the color and the texture of the pen. At the bottom of the screen, sometimes you can decorate one special picture that will not be printed but you can download it later on your phone if you want to. In the middle of the screen, you will be able to change the background music inside the booth into the song that you like. After you finish editing, you will have to choose the seal layout. If you are going with another person, choose this option and the machine will print out two stickers. However, if you are alone or with more people, you should choose this option. Before the machine starts printing the stickers, it will ask you to pick two pictures to send to your email and you can download it for free. If you want to download all of the photos, you have to pay more money. It is common for Purikura machine to show you a bunch of pictures and ask you to vote for the girl that you like most. When you see this screen, you should go outside the booth to wait for your photo stickers to be printed. I'm going to try another photo booth named Salon Air to show you that all of the Purikura machines are quite similar. This machine has a special cost for couples so let's try that. You can see that the design you can select in this machine is a bit different from the previous one but in general it's still similar. The shooting and editing are also the same. You still have to decide how much you want the machine to exaggerate your appearance. When you look at the decoration screen, the structure is almost the same but the stickers and designs are totally different from the previous machine. One thing that you should be careful about whenever you take Purikura is that the time is always limited and the machine counts down all the time so you have to be fast. This time, I'll try to print out for one person only and see how it's gonna be like. Here are all of the pictures that I took today. As I mentioned before, you can download two photos for free to your phone. Open the email that they sent to you and click on the link. There you can see your photos and you can register for a free account to download. You can use your Twitter account to register and they will ask you to log in first. Then you will be able to create a profile and download the free pictures that you chose before. These are the photos that I downloaded. I hope you guys have become a Purikura expert after this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. See ya!